Well, the ship's crew is calm, but in a matter of minutes gets into some serious trouble. And there's new audio being released today that gives you a sense of what it was like for the Golden Ray crew moments before that massive cargo ship capsized. It's all part of the Coast Guard's investigation into what exactly caused the ship and the 4,000 cars on board to tip over. On your sides, Troy Kless is covering the testimony for us and has the very latest tonight. This is an animation of the Golden Race course in the St. Simon Sound. Audio captures the moments when the ship is in distress. What's going on? Alarms sound for several minutes. Communications are eventually cut off. The U.S. Coast Guard started its hearing Monday. It was held virtually due to the COVID-19 pandemic. One viewer commented online that it was difficult to hear. The first witness called was Bruce Fendig of the Brunswick Harbor Pilots. We spoke with his cousin, Cap Fendig, on the one-year anniversary of the wreck. It's very obvious that the ship lost stability. Fendig says the ship's ballast, which helped keep the ship upright, could have been a factor. And those, those tankages go back and forth, just like a plane flying on automatic, based on automatic commands, computer entries, and sensors that keep a plane flying on a straight path when it's an autopilot. The only official explanation so far during this hearing is there were no mechanical issues with the ship when it left the port. More to come in this week of testimony. Troy Kless, First Coast News, on your side.